the Internet of Things, it's a big buzzword at the moment. Uh, what does it mean from Vodafone's perspective in Ireland, particularly in light of the new test bed and, you know, joining all the dots in technology? Well, this is a really exciting opportunity for us in Vodafone. We have a number of customers already look, who, who have uh, MTEM services in the space, and we see this as an opportunity to really help them come up with new business models, new solutions for the marketplace. This test bed service is going to allow them to come and test out their prototypes, come up with new ideas and bring them to market. So we think it's going to be really exciting. Um, we have a team both locally and globally that can give customers information, guidance around best practice about how to deploy these solutions so they can really get the competitive market, their competitive advantage in the marketplace globally. So really, really great opportunity. In terms of like the, the actual test bed, is it, is it currently built, is it being built, or are, are, are companies already using, what's, what's the story with that? It's ready for you, so we have, we've built out the infrastructure, we've got the connectivity ready, um, the hosting service is there from EMC already, so we're just waiting for the customers to come along, waiting for organisations who want to try out the service um, and, and, and come to, to the facility, so the doors are open, we're ready to, uh, to have some participants come along. What I find very interesting about it is the fact there's use of data centers, there's use of uh, yeah. physical lines, but the interesting is you guys are mobile, so uh, will you have many modules out there, people driving around in vehicles, for example, like just testing the, the whole mobile side of it? Yeah, we anticipate we will. I mean, you know, connecting up all the devices is so easily done with mobile. We already have 17 million web devices connected globally. Um, here in Ireland, we've almost 200,000 devices connected. Uh, and we anticipate great growth from that. So the testing services allow, allows us to connect up, or the infinite service allows us to connect up all these dots, um, add connectivity to these discrete devices around the world, and we can start to pull information, and really interesting information from them. So it could be anything from a medical device company making a connected thermometer. They want to be able to quickly find out information you know, in the field without having to connect it back into a device. Um, we see their great opportunity in the agriculture space. We already have customers out there using connectivity. Keenan's being a great example of an organization who had a traditional plant product in the market. They sold animal feeders. They now have a connected animal feeders and they're, they're able to offer the, mar the market a feeding solution. They're able to offer uh, a far better service to the farmer community, farming community around best, best quality of, of beef and, and dairy. In terms of the um, consumer impact of the Internet of Things, like we already have devices out there like Nest uh, devices. Um, if you think about it, uh, how do you see it manifesting in Ireland when you've got uh, consumers using it for various things, whether it's their cars or their, their thermostats? Uh, really, you've, you're answering the question really, like home is going to be the biggest place for it and energy consumption. Um, Plymotor, Plymo one of our customers, have already deployed, deployed an excellent solution with Electric Ireland to allow us to remotely turn on and off our energy. Um, that's going to extend out further. I mean, imagine the future where you can remotely log into your house and find out what food's in your fridge, get Tesco to deliver it to your door. I mean, that's the future of IoT. We anticipate that there's going to be lots of ways of improving our home experience. I think the main thing is going to be in the health market, um, really about reducing um, reducing patient stays in hospital, letting patients come home to be cared for in the house and having a, a nicer experience as they recuperate um, and you know, equally trying to find ways to reduce the cost in our hospitals. So. The other thing I was thinking about as well is uh, last week uh, EE in the UK started selling uh, GoPro cameras connected to 4G. When will we see Vodafone move from being selling just phones to actually selling connected devices that won't be just phones? Vodafone has been offering SIM card solutions to the market for a number of years, but we are going to extend out that range. So we are looking at new products. One of them would be our asset tracking solution to allow organizations to track goods and services, see what their temperature is, where they're located, has there been a change, has the item dropped or fallen. So it allows organizations to really monitor asset as it moves through maybe a manufacturing experience, it could be everything from looking at blood product as it goes from A to B and making sure that it's within ambient temperatures. So it'll provide and improve how we move and how we how we move goods through the supply chain, how we manage our businesses.